And welcome to a venue that began its existence as a cricket ground back in 1855. Football's been played here since 1862, Bramall Lane in Sheffield. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me in the commentary position is the former Arsenal and West Ham midfield player Stuart Robson. And we're on the cusp of bringing you live action from one of the most exciting leagues in Europe, the Championship. It's Sheffield United up against Fulham. Well, Derek, when looking forward to this game, you can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. Number eight, Sander Berg. Number 16, Oliver Norwood. Well, here's how the lineup looks for Number Sheffield United. John well, when they don't have possession, it will be a back five. But when they win the ball back, the wing backs will push further forward to make it a 3-5-2. And this is the team Fulham have selected. Well, in this shape, if their wide players stay high up the pitch and get enough of the ball, it's a very attacking lineup. But if they drop too deep, they will then leave the centre forward isolated, and it could be difficult for them. Thank you, Bramall Lane. Enjoy the game. And they kick off here. Chalabar. Can he make it count? Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? Now the delivery. Dangerous looking attack. It might be on for them. Ream with it. Pass after pass, keeping their opponents moving. Cleared away. Into the advanced position. And simply couldn't beat the first defender. And you need your defender to take charge. Wilson. Very alert defending to put a stop to the chance. And that attack going up a dead end. And the keeper has the ball. Fleck. And as the caption shows, the visitors come into today's game leading the league in goals for the best attack in the league statistically. Well, their attacking play on the road has been second to none. It's been inventive, it's been precise, and most importantly, it's been clinical. They really do play with such confidence when they break forward, which I'm sure we'll see again today. Physically strong and secure on the ball. Well, that's one for them to pursue. Unable to keep the ball. Oliver Norwood. Berger with it. David McGoldrick. An attack full of promise. A fine use of the ball. Can they get in behind them? Opportunity to deliver the cross. A real challenge for the goalkeeper.
Looking confident with the ball at his feet. John Fleck. Chance to play it in. Norwood. Will he find the net? And a goal! That will do it. They've been pushing for it. And now they've been rewarded. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And then just look at the finish, Derek. He reads the flight perfectly and absolutely smashes it beyond the goalkeeper. There's just no stopping that. The opening goal of the game, then. Alexander Mitrovic. Oh, a lovely ball. Well, you have to say, he's going to be very cross with himself. He'll certainly be disappointed with that. That was a poor effort. David McGoldrick. Oh, great vision. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. What a save! They favoured a short one here. Well, the danger is still there. David McGoldrick. Norwood. Crossing possibilities. Still not clear. Well, no damage done. And there it is, the half-time whistle. The teams are ready to have a go at each other again as the second half commences. Fleck. Baldock. Basham in possession. And that was a very fine read. Odoi. Possession lost. Room to Rome on the wing. John Fleck. David McGoldrick. Using his strength to shield the ball. Not high quality defending. Good vision. Can he get onto this? John Fleck. Promising attack, this. And players waiting in the centre. Did look as though they might be onto something for a second or so. Can he put it away? Oh, good save.
And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Number four, John Fleck, coming onto the pitch. Number 24, Connor Horahane. Substitution for Fulham, coming off the pitch. Number 20, Jean-Michel Serri. And he's fired over the corner. And a time for calm on the ball. Harry Wilson. Mitrovic. Reid now. Good movement. Mitrovic. This could square the game. Ball is loose. Well, good defending. Clattered out of there. Really good diving save. So a personnel change then. Coming off the pitch, number 10, Billy Sharp. Coming onto the pitch, number 9, Oliver McBurney. Substitution for Fulham. Coming off the pitch, number 17, Ivan Cavallero. To be replaced by... Over it comes. Relatively straightforward to mop up defensively. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Oliver Norwood. Now McGoldrick. Oh, good vision. A matter of keeping his composure. And a goal to increase their advantage. It's a two goal lead now. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper no chance. Substitution time it is. So 2-0 now. Number 24. Inside the last quarter of an hour. Chalaba. Onama now. Harrison Reed. Bobby Reed. Nathaniel Chalaba here. Robinson well on the cusp of the final whistle and the home side really prospering today Stuart, interested to get your take well they've controlled most of the game haven't they their one and two touch passing has been sharp the movement's been bright and they've scored some good goals they just need to keep their concentration through to the final whistle priority was to hang on to the ball which he did He's protecting it well. Bobby Reid. And only two minutes remaining here. Chalaba. Ball's gone. Berge. Now McGoldrick. And that is the end of the contest and not a happy outcome as far as the visitors are concerned. Well, you can be a great attacking team, as we talked about, but if you don't defend with a tactical understanding or work hard enough to close the opposition down, you'll get performances like we've just seen. Today, they simply weren't good enough without the ball.